welcome back to Bill's Retro Stuff. And today we're going to tackle the CD-ROM. We're going to open her up, clean her up a little bit, and see what happens. So let's give it a shot now. This CD-ROM has three screws, two on, two on the side and one on the bottom. So we'll take the screws off. And basically we're just going to take it apart and clean it up a little bit, make sure there's no dust in it, take the front off, clean the front up. Hopefully this won't take as long as, this, as the floppy drive. The floppy drive took a little longer than I liked it, would have liked it to do, like it to be. But sometimes it just happens when you're trying to clean stuff up. So let's see what we've got here. Actually, this thing doesn't look too bad from what I can see here. The lithium grease is still tacky. Um, probably won't be much to do other than clean the front up. Um, I'll blow the inside out. I'm not going to take the bottom cover off because this chassis here probably sits on the bottom. But what the heck, let's take the bottom off and see what we got down here in the bottom. Just see, but there's no dust really in this cover, which is awful funny. But well, I can't say funny, but it's good. So we'll leave that over here. But it looks like everything in here is not bad. I don't see any dust. I don't know about the belt, but it does open and close. But this here may not have a belt drive. It looks like it's direct drive, and the but it does have a belt. So we'll just take a look at that belt here while we're here. There's a little belt right here. Let's don't seem too bad. And maybe a little rubbery, but it's an open and closed mechanism, so, so it's not too bad. We won't mess with that. We're good with that. All right, so let's go ahead and take the front off and clean it. The rest of it don't look too bad, so we I'm not um, not hating it. Not a lot of the stuff I can lube. It looks like the lube is in still pretty good shape, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, so let's see if we can get this off here. See here, what are we what are we fighting here? Probably the door. So it looks like we're gonna open up the door. So that's easy enough. We'll let it go to where the head. Come on. There we go, we'll open up the door here. So we'll go ahead and pull. Go ahead and see if we can that will slide up right there it is. We're going to slide the door off. They usually just they just slide up normally just like that. Now we should be able to get the the front cover off so we can clean it up. We'll clean the, the door up too. something a little different here. See the dust up in there, so huh, that's just interesting. Most times this just unclips and you pull it forward, but this one's not letting me do that for some reason. Oh, let's see if it's down in here. There's two clips in here. But usually this don't really give you any any fit. But, uh, all right, let's see if these clips here we're doing. Oh, see those are not clips. They are clips, but way to do it I guess we can take the board out which is one screw it looks like or maybe it might be two the one on each side of that well all right I'll just have 
to blow it out and clean out the way it sits. And we can do that. Blow it out there. We'll just wipe her down. It doesn't look too shabby anyway, so that works out pretty good. Now let's go ahead and take this. And we'll take some cleaner and we'll just clean it up. It doesn't look bad. Take some uh, cleaner here and we'll clean everything up here. We'll wipe down the front door. We'll wipe down around in here, make sure the volume is clean. We'll make sure that's clean. We're still dirty in here, so we'll, we'll go in and we'll make sure that's clean. I don't want to break it since it's basically all plastic, and so that's why I'm stopping. Sometimes it's more prudent to stop and just clean what you can clean than it is to try to tear the whole thing apart. Especially if you're, you know, if you don't want to have to replace it. I don't want to have to replace it, even though it's a 1X, and honestly, it's running off the sound card. And I can actually do other stuff with it. You know, I can actually do, you know, this, you know put other ROMs in it. I still like to try to keep it original. I'm not sure this ROM even works. We'll clean, the, we'll put a little bit of the stuff on the head there. We'll go ahead and clean some of the gearing up, make sure everything's good. The belt. Well, it ain't too shabby. It's not too shabby, so let's go ahead and clean it up just a little bit. There we go. Make sure I'm on the camera there. So, it's not, it's, I mean, it really, for the disk drive, was a lot worse than this thing was. So we'll just clean that up. I'm just cleaning up underneath the lid there. And then we'll go ahead. Like I said, it doesn't look bad. I mean, either they just didn't use it a whole lot, and that's possible. I mean, People were fascinated. I used mine all the time when I first got mine. I had a Hitachi. Later I sold a friend of mine. But I had a little Hitachi, which was a, a nice little um, round. But, but, and it was a caddy too. It was, so you had a caddy. I've got some caddy rounds. Maybe later on I'll show you. But um, the caddy rounds themselves. Uh, the problem I had with it is I could not play the game I wanted to play. It just my game did not support it back then. You know, different things did, but Mitsusumi it would always support Sound Blaster. It would support. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and slide my lid back on because it's it's pretty clean. So let's go ahead and slide it on. Make sure it clips back into place. And we'll go ahead and push that on back. It's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, whoever owned it, as you can tell, didn't. They even there's no really no dust on the. On the volume control. I mean, there's a little bit right here in the in this, but and the lithium grease is in good shape, so I'm not going to worry about doing anything here. Although I might just touch it up. You know me. Well, you don't know me yet, but I'm kind of a sticker. This time I'll do it off, off camera here, and I'll use. I got a trash can here, and I'll I'll just there we go. So I don't get it everywhere. Unfortunately. There's no controlling that, so what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll just give you just a little bit on the on each of the sliders. There's another one. There's a scroll here. We'll just get it here. Actually, no, it's not. Okay, there we go. And I'm not going to try to move this scroll. I'll wait until we power it up. So we'll just get down in there a little bit, and get a little bit of death and grease on it. There we go. That'll help when it gets down through there. Like I said, the grease isn't hard yet, so that's a that's a really good sign. That's not hard yet. So that. then then I'll come in and I'll wipe off everything I could have touched with it. There we go. All right, that's not going to hurt anything. There we go. Now what we'll do is now, like I said, there really wasn't any dust or anything. Actually, it looks pretty good. I don't know if they just didn't use it very often or what. So. So spray it down and we'll put it all back together and see where we're at. Now I'm just now noticing since this is my first time doing any type of camcorder and I've got this one on a mount up here and I'm just hoping that I've got it the right direction or everything that you'll see will be upside down. But hopefully in my video editing I can figure a way to turn it right side up. Like I said, I'm not, you know, 
not a long time camera guy. As a matter of fact, you know, I never really was interested in this. And I was thinking one day, you know, I do a lot of this stuff. And I thought it'd be kind of nice to maybe just to take some videos of what I do. Maybe somebody gets some use out of it. I've never been afraid of tackling anything. And I always tell people, never be afraid of tackling it. You know, but the older stuff, you know, yeah, you can ruin it or, you know, damage it or whatever. But, you know, I I don't know. I, I Just like I said, I've never been afraid of tackling it. If I ruin something, I ruin it. You know, it's old stuff. Well, even new stuff, you know. Um, I do uh, some odds and ends for some friends of mine. And, you know, they always want to do this, that, and the other. Uh, like I got a buddy right now, I'm working on a, uh, an old 1970 camper, you know. You know, people are afraid to tackle that stuff, but you got to remember that campers ain't nothing but a friggin' house. I mean, that's what they are. I mean, they're they're nothing but a house. They, uh, well, they're built like a house for the most part, other than the steel frame, but... Um, But they're still a house, nevertheless. They're, and I've never been afraid to tackle stuff like that. But if you are afraid to tackle some stuff or do stuff like this, don't. Just give it a shot. I mean, as long as you don't go in there and mess up the, mess up the heads or, or screw around with that, you're fine. But if you're going to take it apart and clean it with a little bit of air and a little bit of lithium grease, and then you won't have any problem with it. You just got to, you know, sometimes you just got to not to be afraid to do it. Well, you know, and I've never been afraid to, to do that stuff, so, but, uh, anyway, put her all back together. Uh, she really wasn't that dirty. The, um, I don't know what that blemish there is. It's not coming off, so it's a blimp. These are some scratches over time. This is like some crack in some of the plastic in here, and, um, uh, so, but that's all we did. We didn't really do much cleaning. I didn't clean the heads in this because it looked like it was pretty good. Usually you just do the alcohol thing. But I didn't see any dust or anything on the on the lens on the top. Um, I didn't really show you the head, but the, you can see it shine right on down. So, but um, anyway, um, this is it on the CD-ROM. The next one we're going to tackle is we're going to tear apart the power supply and see if the power supply is bad. Or I, I'm I'm kind of thinking there's some capacitor issues because of the. Uh, I'm just wiping stuff while I talk. Sorry. I like to keep things clean as much as I can. Um, I think there's just some capacitors in there that's shot because it didn't quite come on, right? But then all of a sudden things started lighting up and doing things. So well, hopefully it's a capacitor. If not, I have um, I have other I have other power supply we can put in there to give it a shot. So uh, thanks for watching.